December. And as we all know, the month comes with a whole lot of excitement, joy and total happiness due to its festive nature. Christmas, basically. This is a season to celebrate, bond more, and to share love and exchange gifts. And a time to say, thank you, Lord, for the year. For this singular reason, people travel from all over for several other events. And commercial bus drivers believe strongly that this is a time to make more money. And they travel long distances and still intend to load and head back same night or the next morning without having had adequate rest or sleep. Hmm. My name is Oyunla Larebe. Welcome to another fabulous episode of the Best Rated Automobile and Safety TV program, Auto Expert. Your guys, see? This is part of the year that people travel. You know, they go to their village a lot. You know, even me, I'm, I'm planning to travel to my village. It's a shame that I haven't been there before, but I plan on going soon. Um, the roads are bad, so if we can get these our roads fixed, I think that they will go a long way as far as the, the months that the majority of people travel. Based on most people thinking it's um, superstitious and um, we just superstitious beliefs and all that. So um, people think um, when it gets to Ember Moon because of the Ember in it, so they think um, they, they go superstitious. So that's the reason why. It's, it's like a phobia. I, I have never believed in it. Fine. I, 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 during this season, you tend to have more accidents. But I think it's, we can actually agree that there are probably powers that are behind this. But oftentimes, it's, it's about your belief. I, I don't get scared of driving or being on the road or going out because it's September or December. It's, it's a belief thing. Salo, 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 baby, salo, pretty lady, oh, salo, baby, you be zero competition. Keep watching Auto S Part of Guide to Safety. God bless. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's your favorite boy, Sam Cole, aka Shakara Master, aka Love One Titi Master. And you are watching Auto Expert with Celebrity. Yeah, don't touch that dial. <laughs> it's so frustrating when you're trekking, you know. But sometimes you do enjoy it when you're trekking because uh, the kind of breeze where they blow you when you did trek. And the one way they blow you when you're inside Motona, two different breeze. One are hot hair, one are cold hair. And so that's what the team be. So both of them you enjoy them though. Yeah. That's how it is. <laughs> My first car, the very first car I bought was um C class, green C class, I can never forget. You yeah. know. And uh, I really enjoyed that car. You know Benz, Benz product is really smart. Like Benz, like they be machine. You know what I mean? You know, I really enjoyed that car. That car, I use them tire. I follow me enter different, different places. No get to where that car, no fee enter. The car, no they, you know, they answer up if you want to enter water. Say, so make you answer up, you know. The car is a wonderful car. Come, 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 I want us to come. This car is the current car I'm using right now. As you can see, it's a Land Rover LR3 and uh, it has a lot of good features, you know, thrilling features. You know, it has this feature that if you want to pass through a bad spot, you can just touch a button and the car would go up. You know, you touch it again to go up again to the extent that you want it to go, then you just pass. Then when you're done, you bring it down again. Otherwise, it will tell you you are beyond the, the normal level which the car should be. So you need to bring it down, you know, so that you'll be able to drive smoothly. Yeah. So this car, it has a lot of features that I cannot even mention. The AC in this car is mad, like very, very mad. 
if you enter this car under two minutes, eh, it will be like far away rain be. But then one thing again about this car, the sound system. The sound system is crazy. You don't need to go to a club. Just enter this car, lock yourself inside. On the AC, you are in the club. Even DJ, you this is a DJ of the screech on you. That right here. All in the A lot of people, they, they don't obey traffic laws. Traffic law, if you don't obey traffic law, you end up getting accident all the time. You see a lot of accidents in Lagos Road. Some people don't even understand traffic. Sometimes I, I, I wonder, like, a lot of drivers in Lagos, if I may say, they, they need to go through a driving school so they understand what traffic is and how they should obey it, why it's necessary for them to obey it. You know, when a traffic shows you the green light, it says you should go. And when it shows you the yellow light, it says get ready to go or get ready to stop. And when it shows you the red light, it means you should stop. You see some people, when the traffic brings uh, this uh, maybe yellow light, get into red light, that's when they will start, you know, they want to hurry and pass and all that. You can cause accidents while trying to do that. So why don't you just calm down? Because after five minutes, this traffic is going to give you go again. So what's the use of hurrying yourself? I just lost a friend uh, last two weeks from auto crash. Some driver went over the third and said, they're so free drivers, they only yell. They will speed as the way they like. You know, when you are driving, you should your head should tell you the speed to take. You can't go, when you are an express, you can't go more than 100. Keep that uh, pace going, you know. Then when you're in a, a town, like you're driving within town, you have to be very, very careful. In short, speed is not allowed when you're in town. Because goat can cross the road, fowl can cross the road, human beings can cross the road, anybody can cross the road. You end up killing these people, and it's not good. Na, 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 na. Before you drive, make sure you are not drunk and you're using your phone, it's not good. Like in, in this car right here, when my phone is ringing, I have a button that I can just easily press. You know, automatically I'll just receive my calls. But holding your phone, holding your phone, talking, you know what? It's a lot of distraction for you. Anything can happen. Anything can happen while you're holding your phone and you're talking, you're discussing. It's not a good thing. Picking, answering calls, receiving calls, or calling when you are driving, it's a bad habit. For me, I won't having this kind of car and having a maybe like the C class I mentioned earlier on. I won't want to customize my C class. I want to customize this one because this gives me more prestige, more prestigious, you know, and all that, you know. So I want people to, <laughs> I want people to notice me when I drive this. <laughs> I just can't help it. I have to be truthful to you. So that's how it is. Everybody wants to feel good. You know, you can't, you can't cut that away from your life. We are humans. Even God will create us. God did. If you depraise him, he feels good. You know what I mean? So everybody wants to feel good in nature, you know. Auto tracking device in your being installed in your vehicle is a wonderful device. When your car is stolen, you would know where your car is. So it's very, very good to have an auto tracking device in your vehicle because it helps you a lot. It's going to tell you where your car is. In case your car is stolen, it's going to help you out to easily locate your car. You love the one thing thing. Yeah, it's your favorite boy, Sam Ko, aka Shakara Master, aka Love the One thing thing. Keep watching Auto Expert, your guide to safety. My name is Benga James. I'm a farmer. For me, I love European cars because of the, the weight, as well as the durability. They, they tend to be, uh, and also because of the engine power. I like driving V8 cars, which is, uh, I don't like driving anything below V8. And then uh, I prefer German and British cars. I like Range Rovers, the Jaguars, and also the Mercedes Benz and BMW. That's what I drive. 
Yes, yes, I was involved twice. Good accident. I was born in 1984, April 20, 1984, and then uh, May 8, 1990. I was involved with the Volkswagen B2, the same B2, anyway. Well, I was, uh, I was killed in the first instance. I was coming back from a party. I was there in university. I was coming back from a party with some friends in the car. And I dozed off. And I just, yeah, I dozed off in the car. And I was there in the bush. The second time was, I was, um, it was during the rain. It was a serious rain between uh, Lagos and the Bekuta Expressway. Uh, then we just, we just cleared off the road around the Popalanto area. That was, uh, but I was lucky with those two accidents. I never had any bruises. happiness since 1970. I honestly cannot overemphasize the importance of having an auto insurance cover. It should be like the air you breathe, utterly necessary to stay alive, to thrive and to survive. My name is Oyinola Larekbe and it's my utmost delight to welcome you to another astounding episode of Auto Insurance on Auto Expert. Today we have a standing figure in the insurance world and it's no other person but Alex Anaba the National Retail Manager, General Business of Leadway Assurance Company. There's a lot of things that we overlook that are not, necess not necessary. You think it's not necessary, but when the time comes for it, you're like, wow, thank God I did that. So I, I think it's very necessary. Auto insurance is very necessary. Okay, so good to have you on our program. How are you, thanks? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. Wonderful, you look good. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, um, can you tell us about Leadway Peak and Pay Motor Insurance? Yeah, Leadway Peak and Pay Motor Insurance is right. an acronym okay. for the Leadway Auto. Okay. Uh, this is basically a plan that has variance. It ranges from 3.5, uh, 3%, 3.5, 4%, 4.5 okay. in terms of the summer short. So it's designed to actually accommodate the economic entries of people. Some people might desire to have more comprehensive motor insurance and they are telling us, hey, Leadway, we can't do 4.5. So with the Leadway Pick and Pay, it's easier. It recognizes your own economic entry and you can easily have the best cover from Leadway. At pocket friendly rates. Pocket friendly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, we hear about excesses. How does that apply to Ooh. these plans? When you talk about excess in insurance, is just an insurance terminology that actually uh, allow people to exercise some level of caution. It's is actually introduced into policy to tell policyholders to exercise some level of discretion. That you have an insurance does not mean you should be careless on the road. So what SS is can also be linked scripturally to be like, don't take the grace of God for lasciviousness. That you have God's grace on you, don't be careless. The same way if you have comprehensive motor insurance from Libya Insurance Company or any insurance company as the case may be, SS in insurance is just saying, look, don't get careless on the road because you have insurance. Don't go bashing people deliberately because you have an insurance. So that SS is the price of caution. That is the first charge you bear in the event of a an auto crash. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, a car has been insured for the same value each year. Or how does it work? Okay. Basically, in practice, uh, there should be a review in terms of uh, motor vehicle value, uh, depreciation will be setting in. So if you buy a car, say, for 100000 this year, immediately the car hits the road, the value starts dropping. So it's expected that during the second year of uh, insurance, the value should have dropped by a certain percentage, and the impact on your premium is that your premium too drops. Okay, so um, how many percent is that exactly? Ah, basically, we use about 10%. Okay. About 10% of the value is depreciated. 
Okay, so at a point to get um, to 0%, you know, 10%, 10% for them, 10 years and then 0%. Yes, the BEP, you can say, does not qualify for insurance. That's what they normally use in practice by saying a vehicle has hit book value of zero. So you can now dispose of. Okay, okay. Yeah. What happens then? At that time, that vehicle is not worth insuring. Wow. So you can now scrap it. Wow. And then get after... Get another new one. The insurance company covers that? Definitely. Mm, that's yeah. new info, wonderful, juicy info. <laughs> okay, so um, that's how far we can go for today yeah. on today's episode of Also Insurance. Thank you so much. Thank You've you been so much, wonderful as usual. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, okay. Um, yes. Thanks so much for watching today's Auto Insurance segments on Auto Expert, brought to you by Lidia Assurance, insuring happiness since 1970. Hope you've learned a lot because I honestly have learned so much. You know, um, insurance is really juicy. You know, much more juicier than we actually thought. Okay then, enjoy the rest of the program. Everybody hurts. Everybody walks along the lonely road sometimes. Let me take your hand Cause to me your happiness is just as good as mine And you will be Leadway Assurance Ensuring happiness since 1970. Welcome to Auto Expert News. Before we go into the future, let's back up a little to the past. I'm talking about exotic automobiles like the Rolls Royce and the most expensive and luxurious motorhome in the world, both of which operate on land while the Nigerian women that own private jets, which are basically air router transport system, has been mentioned in previous news stories. Let's take a ride into the future with the amazing flying car spec, Aeromobile 3.0, which has a combination of airplane and motor car features as it can move on land and fly in the air. Aeromobile is a Slovak prototype portable aircraft designed by Stefan Klein and first flown in 2013. The vehicle, which is intended for wealthy supercar buyers and flight enthusiasts, is beautifully integrated and can transform in seconds from an automobile to an airplane. Aeromobile is a flying car that perfectly makes use of existing infrastructure created for automobiles and planes and opens doors to real door to door travel. It uses a Rotex 912 four cylinder horizontally opposed liquid and air cooled piston craft engine with 100 horsepower, which is similar to that of an aeroplane. Also, similar to an aeroplane is its minimum speed of 60 km per hour and takeoff speed of 130 km per hour. It has collapsible wings with a span of 8.32 meters when extended and width of 2.24 meters when folded. That as a plane, it can use any airport in the world and can take off and land using any grass strip or paved surface just a few hundred meters long while as a car it fits into any standard parking space uses regular gasoline and can be used in road traffic just like any other car it has a top speed of over 160 kilometers per hour a range of 875 kilometers which is considerably longer than that of an airplane and a fuel consumption rate of 8 liters per 100 kilometers the Aeromobile 3.0, which is a significant improvement and upgrade from the Aeromobile 2.5, is built with advanced composite material of steel framework and carbon coating, including its body shell, wings, and wheels. It possesses sturdy suspensions that enable it to take off and land even at relatively rough terrains with a capacity of two seats. And this advancement in technology fulfills what Eric Ford said in 1940. I quote, Mark my word, a combination airplane and motor car is coming. You may smile, but it will come. And that wraps up today's episode on Auto Expert News. And for more information on Auto Expert News, please log on to our Facebook page at Auto Expert Pro, like our page, post your comments and questions. You can also contact us on Twitter at Auto Expert Pro. 
In addition, you can email us, share your thoughts with us at visualgoreentertainment at yahoo.com and autoexpertpro at gmail.com. Have a fabulous day, guys, and leave big people. It's truck month at Ford, and we've got a Ranger just for you, Vincent. Here's the Workhorse 2.5 petrol single cab with free Ford Protect, a four-year, 120,000-kilometer service plan. Or the 2.5 petrol base double cab with 800 millimeter water wading capability. Available in manual transmission and with free Ford Protect. So while stocks last, visit Costaris Motors today. Because, wait for it, thanks Vincent. We've got a tough Ford Ranger just for you. Hi people, uh, welcome to this wonderful segment of uh, Auto Guide on Auto Experts. Um, my name is Sam Olaulu Ademoye. I'm looking to speak to you today about issues uh, around tires. Um, tires, basically you're looking at something that you can compare to balloons. They cannot be uh, overinflated and they cannot be underinflated. But there's a lot more to that. Um, let's start off with a brand new tire here. The good thing is there's plenty of information on this tire to guide you through the usage. Um, anything outside the information you have here is very likely going to put you in a situation of jeopardy. Um, for a start, you have the tire size. Um, but more importantly, you have issues of how much pressure you need to put into the tire. You need to know when it is uh, vital or essential that you change the tire. Um, consider these little units as equipment that need to have grip and they have to be able to assist your suspension. Um, they go through a lot of rigor. They go through a lot of stress. Let's start off by saying to you what the whole structure of the whole tire is about. Um, you're looking at rubber, mainly rubber. But within that, you've got um, materials that actually aid the structure of it. What makes it stay in this particular form? What makes it move or, or propel or carry the weight of a vehicle um, in such a way that it's safe and comfortable. You don't just fit tires. A lot of tires have a situation where this side should be outside of the car and that side should be inside of the car. You would have direction of rotation or you would have inside or outside printed. You can actually check the um, level of wear on your tire individually. It's so simple. What you have to do is look out for a triangle on the wall of the tire. Is that it? Right, that's it. Found it. Your marker actually leads you to a point here. That point there is where the marker is to show you how much wear you've actually uh, um, put on this tire. The moment this level is level with that, that is the moment when this tire is done. There's so much we can do with tires, but I think at this stage we've covered a lot. Um, the other thing is, obviously be very careful when you have your tires repaired. You don't want too much liquid, you don't want too much weight. You want the tire to be of a very, very good weight balance. Nothing causing vibration in any direction, whether it's that way or that way or that way. Um, wrong weights actually cause a lot of problems. Um, on this note, I think um, we'll leave it like that but just keep it safe it's really nice to have had your uh, audience um, this is just the beginning of the section of tires on auto guide auto experts um, there's much more to talk about tires and we will get to it um, me I'm Sam Olaulu Ademoye I like to call myself uh, motorman Sam uh, I'm an engineer a mechanic a fitter whatever Cars are my life. That's what I do. Thank you very much. 100. A driver 
but doesn't have enough rest is likely to crash on the road. Please do not overload your vehicle with passengers and luggages all at once just because you want to make money. Do not overspeed because the moment you try to rush, you're sure to overspeed. Consider the innocent lives of your passengers and yours too. You can only be alive to enjoy another Christmas if you drive safely. And that wraps today's episode of Auto Expert. My name still remains Oyunla Larekbe. Keep it with me same time next week and keep watching Auto Expert. It's your guide to safety. And remember, life has no pursuit. Protect it jealousy. Have a fabulous day, guys.